in Surah Ghafir, Allah talks about Judgment Day. And not just any scene of Judgment Day. Not just any scene. Listen to this. إِذْ يَتَحَاجُّونَ فِي النَّارِ فَيَقُولُ الضُّعَفَاءَ لِلَّذِينَ اسْتَكْبَرُوا إِنَّا كُنَّا لَكُمْ تَبَعًا فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُغْنُونَ عَنَّا نَصِيبًا مِنَ النَّارِ قَالَ الَّذِينَ اسْتَكْبَرُوا إِنَّا كُلٌّ فِيهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ حَكَمَ بَيْنَ الْعِبَادِ Listen to this carefully. What am I trying to get across to you? When they are going to be debating with each other in the fire, there are people in Jahannam, Allahumma la taj'alna minhum. There are people in Jahannam that are having an argument among each other. Who's having an argument? Allah says the weak are having an argument with the people who used to have power. The weak, the oppressed, the people who were scared to speak up, the people who could have spoken up, but if they spoke up, there would have been consequences. The ones who stayed quiet, those are now speaking against those, to, to those who are now, who were in a position of power. By the way, both in the fire. Both in the fire. And they say, we used to follow you. Inna kunna lakum taba'an. We used to follow you. Could you help us out against this fire? And they say, no, everybody's in the fire. The real master has already made his decision. He's already made the decision. Even those kuffar say, now the Rabb has already qad hakama bayna al-ibad. Inna Allah qad hakam bayna al-ibad. No doubt Allah has already made his decision between the slaves. What is he saying? What are these people saying? These people are saying, you, you, the only reason the weak are, why would you think the weak should be in hellfire? The weak are victims. Yes, they are victims. You know what their crime is? Not speaking the truth. You have no weapon in your hand. You're weak. You have no weapon. You have no military resources. You have no economic resources. You have no social resources. The one resource you have is your tongue that can speak the truth. That's it. That's it. And if you don't use that resource, then you are just as much a criminal because one believer standing up could have ended all the oppression. One believer speaking up. How many times do we think we see something wrong, we don't say something, I might lose my job. I shouldn't say something. This man stood up in the, against the worst odds. What do we have? What are we afraid of? Losing a job? Or, you know, my, my friend might get upset? Or what are people gonna say? Nobody's killing you, nobody's killing your children. And you and I are still spineless to speak the truth when it comes, when the time comes. We have to, where do we stand? Where's the integrity of the Muslim? They see something wrong and they don't speak out. What are we afraid of and what are we not afraid of?